I recently encountered an acquaintance from high school, and it was remarkable how, despite nearly 20 years passing, we still recognized each other. We both acknowledged that our facial features remained largely unchanged, even though our bodies had evolved over time. We engaged in a conversation about how life has transformed since our high school days, and she expressed concern over how many children today no longer relish the outdoor play opportunities we once took for granted. I concurred, noting how we spent much of our time outdoors, enjoying fresh air, in parks, rollerblading, biking, or participating in various sports. Without social media, face-to-face -face interactions, family time, and in-person gatherings were prioritized. Although TV and video games were popular, we still rented movies and invited family or friends over to watch them together. Those were indeed memorable times. Our conversation then shifted to reminiscing about music from the past, which we agreed seemed to have more substance than much of what is popular today. Those songs often told a story that resonated with listeners, allowing us to fully immerse ourselves in the moment. We confessed that we occasionally felt the urge to bypass contemporary music and revisit the hits from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, sometimes even including a few tracks from the early 2000s. As we discussed the current generation, we reflected on how much has changed. While advancements have undoubtedly made life more efficient, such as the ability to send an email across the globe in seconds rather than waiting days for a letter, these same changes have also introduced challenges that sometimes test the moral fabric of society. We wondered what those who came before us would think if they could witness today's world. Some might be astounded by the changes, while others might remain unfazed. In any case, I was glad to have reconnected with an old acquaintance, but the encounter left me contemplating where society will be in the years to come. Yes, a society must evolve but how far is too far? How much is too much? In 100 years, what will society look like in terms of economic development, music, and social and moral values? One thing is certain. If society does indeed deteriorate, I won't be around to witness it. Vocabulary An acquaintance, a person you know slightly, but who is not a close friend. Despite nearly 20 years passing, although almost 20 years have gone by, implying that a long time has elapsed. Our facial features, the distinct characteristics of our faces, such as the shape of our eyes, nose, and mouth. Our bodies had evolved over time. Our physical appearances have changed gradually over the years. Relish. To enjoy or take great pleasure in something we once took for granted. We used to assume something would always be available or not appreciate it fully when we had it. I concurred. 
I agreed or shared the same opinion. Prioritized. Made something more important than other things. Gave it priority. We still rented movies. Even though there were other entertainment options, we continued to borrow movies for a short period to watch at home. Memorable times, periods or moments that are worth remembering because they were special or significant. Reminiscing about music from the past. Reflecting or thinking fondly about music that was popular in earlier times. Resonated with listeners. Had a deep and meaningful connection with people who listened to it. To fully immerse ourselves in the moment. To be completely absorbed or involved in a particular experience or feeling. Felt the urge, experienced a strong desire or impulse to do something. To bypass contemporary music. To intentionally avoid or skip over modern or current music. Revisit the hits. To listen again to popular songs from the past. A few tracks from the early 2000s. Some songs that were released in the early 2000s. Advancements. Progress or developments, particularly in technology, knowledge, or society. Undoubtedly. Without doubt, certainly. Efficient, working or operating in a way that gets results with the least waste of time, effort, or resources. The moral fabric of society. The set of moral values, beliefs, and practices that hold a community or society together. Astounded, shocked or greatly surprised. Remained unfazed, was not affected or disturbed by something surprising or unsettling. I was glad to have reconnected. I was happy to have met or made contact with someone again after a long time. An old acquaintance. Someone you knew from the past but haven't seen or spoken to in a long time left me contemplating, made me think deeply or reflect on something. Economic development, the process by which a country or region improves the economic well-being of its people, often through increased production, jobs, and wealth. Deteriorate. To become worse over time. To decline in quality or condition. To witness it. To see or experience something happening, often in person. Analyze. I recently encountered an acquaintance from high school, and it was remarkable how, despite nearly 20 years passing, we still recognized each other. Meaning, I recently met someone I knew from high school, and it was surprising that even though almost 20 years had gone by, we could still identify each other. We both acknowledged that our facial features remained largely unchanged, 
even though our bodies had evolved over time. Meaning, we both agreed that our faces looked mostly the same, even though our bodies had changed over the years. We engaged in a conversation about how life has transformed since our high school days, and she expressed concern over how many children today no longer relish the outdoor play opportunities we once took for granted. Meaning, we talked about how life has changed since we were in high school, and she mentioned that she was worried about how kids today don't enjoy playing outside as much as we did. I concurred, noting how we spent much of our time outdoors enjoying fresh air, playing in parks, rollerblading, biking, or participating in various sports. Meaning, I agreed with her, pointing out that we used to spend a lot of time outside breathing fresh air, playing in parks, rollerblading, biking, or doing other sports. Without social media, face-to-face -face interactions, family time, and in-person gatherings were prioritized. Meaning, since there was no social media back then, we focused more on interacting with people in person, spending time with family, and meeting up with others in person. Although TV and video games were popular, we still rented movies and invited family or friends over to watch them together. Meaning, even though TV and video games were common, we often rented movies and had family or friends come over to watch them with us. Those were indeed memorable times, meaning those moments were truly worth remembering. Our conversation then shifted to reminiscing about music from the past, which we agreed seemed to have more substance than much of what is popular today, meaning we started talking about old music, which we both thought had more meaning than most of today's music. Our conversation then shifted to reminiscing about music from the past, which we agreed seemed to have more substance than much of what is popular today. Meaning, we started talking about old music, which we both thought had more meaning than most of today's music. Those songs often told a story that resonated with the listeners, allowing us to fully immerse ourselves in the moment. Meaning, the music back then often told stories that connected with people, helping us to really get into the experience. We confessed that we occasionally felt the urge to bypass contemporary music and revisit the hits from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, sometimes even including a few tracks from the early 2000s, meaning we admitted that sometimes we want to skip today's music and listen to popular songs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and sometimes even songs from the early 2000s. As we discussed the current generation, we reflected on how much has changed, meaning, while talking about today's generation, we thought about all the changes that have happened. While 
advancements have undoubtedly made life more efficient, such as the ability to send an email across the globe in seconds rather than waiting days for a letter. These same changes have also introduced challenges that sometimes test the moral fabric of society, meaning, although progress has certainly made life easier, for example, being able to send an email instantly instead of waiting days for a letter, these changes have also brought about problems that can challenge society's morals. We wondered what those who came before us would think if they could witness today's world, meaning we thought about how people from the past might react if they could see the world today. Some might be astounded by the changes, while others might remain unfazed. Some might be shocked by how much has changed while others might not be surprised at all. In any case, I was glad to have reconnected with an old acquaintance, but the encounter left me contemplating where society will be in the years to come. Meaning, regardless, I was happy to meet up with someone I knew from the past but our conversation made me think about where society will go in the future. Yes, a society must evolve, but how far is too far? How much is too much? Meaning, yes, society has to change, but when does it go too far? When is enough enough? In 100 years, what will society look like in terms of economic development, music, and social and moral values? Meaning, in a century, what will society be like in terms of its economy, music, and social and moral standards? One thing is certain, if society does indeed deteriorate, I won't be around to witness it. Meaning, one thing is for sure, if society gets worse, I won't be here to see it happen. Test. Who did the speaker encounter? How long had it been since the speaker last saw the acquaintance? What did the speaker and the acquaintance agree on about their appearances? What did the acquaintance express concern about? What activities did the speaker recall enjoying as a child?
What did the speaker and the acquaintance discuss regarding past music? What did the speaker occasionally feel the urge to do? What was one of the benefits of advancements mentioned in the passage? What did the speaker wonder about past generations? What did the encounter with the acquaintance lead the speaker to contemplate? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.